I came home from work and the Lush Labs package that I recently ordered was waiting for me in my mailbox. So I decided it is time to do my very first Lush Labs haul. Now, as you guys know, this first month of Lush Labs was soap. Am I excited for more soap? Not really. However, I am excited for new stuff. So these soaps are all new and or new to me. So I was excited by that. So I did place my order and I got all of them. There was one when I did the Lush Labs leak, there was another soap, but for some reason they never actually came out with it. I don't exactly know. I don't exactly know why. Um, so, but we're gonna go over all of the soaps, talk about the good, talk about maybe the bad. I don't know, we shall see. But I am excited to get my sniffs on, so I hope you guys are ready as well. So the first soap is Astra La Vista, and this one is really pretty. I do really like the look of this soap. As you can see, it has the same shape as the soaps that they came out um, for Mother's Day. And this one here smells like the Bunch of Carrots Reusable Bubble Bar. So if you're familiar with that scent, that is what this soap smells like. And it's just a really nice scent. I am a fan of the Bunch of Carrots scent. Um, it's also the same scent as the, what was it at Christmas time, the Snowman um bubble bubble room that came out um oh i absolutely love that so i am excited to have that scent as a soap and i think this is really really pretty so i don't know i think this one is a hit for me i really do like that i mean this isn't a hit or misses video but i am really digging that bar of soap um the next one again is shaped in the similar fashion as the other ones. Now this one is called Poppy and there is I believe poppy seeds in this. Um, it's supposed to have the scent of the comforter bubble bar and I do get that and to me this smells more like the comforter bubble bar than it does the comforter shower cream if that makes sense. If you guys like for me, I was never really a big fan of the comforter shower cream. I thought it just smelled bad. Um, I thought it smelled a bit like cat pee. That's just my opinion. Uh, but the bubble bar, however, I thought smelled absolutely fantastic. And I think this smells more, way more like the bubble bar than it does the, the shower cream. So I'm happy about that. However, I don't know how I feel about the look of this. Um, it's, it's not the most attractive looking bar of soap I've ever seen. It's kind of like red. To me, to me it reminds me of like blood clots or something. Like it's just not attractive looking. Does anyone else think like, it's, it's a pretty ugly bar of soap in my opinion. Um, but the scent is nice. I do like the smell. So again, that's the first two bars of soap here. I am a fan of the scents. Um, so I am excited to try those. I will have sink side demos of all of these. Um, hopefully I can get those recorded by the end of the week. We'll see. Um, the next bar of soap, and this one came out um, at the last Lush Summit. And this one is the Birch Sap Soap. However, I believe this used to smell like sandalwood or something, but apparently they changed the scent. Um, it's not the same as what it smelled like at the summit. Now it's supposed to smell like needles and pines. Now I never had a chance to buy the needles and pines shower jelly, so I can't say for sure if that's exactly what I'm smelling, but it does smell a bit on the piney side, like a woodsy piney side. Um, it smells nice. I do like the scent of it. Um, I probably would have preferred a sandalwood kind of smell. Um, so I'm not quite sure exactly 
why it's not scented the same. Maybe it was hard to get the ingredients. I don't know exactly what, you know, what comes about when things are decided and stuff like that. But um, I did get that one as well. Uh, the next one... The next one, <laughs> the next one's the Como Rebbe Little Leaf Soap. I was not expecting this to be as small as it is. This thing is so tiny. Do you see how flat and tiny this is? This looks like a bar of soap you used like it's the end of your bar of soap and you have nothing but a little sliver left that you probably would just pitch in the trash instead of use. That is so freaking small. So I'm assuming this is like a, a one-time use bar of soap kind of thing. And I know, I mean, I'm not getting into a rant so much in this video, but... I know Lush is just very anti-wastefulness, but this is kind of wasteful, you know? It's only like a what? A single use kind of soap. It smells fantastic. Love the scent of it. Um, it shares the scent as Hidden Mountain. And I just want to say, like, I don't, I highly doubt, like, if you, I highly doubt you could request a sample of this soap but wouldn't it be freaking hilarious if you requested a sample of this soap because they'd almost have to give you the freaking bar of soap whole just for shits and giggles I don't like to curse on my channel but just for shits and giggles I have a sample of the hidden mountain soap so here's my sample of hidden mountain soap it's a decent sized chunk of soap there and this is a free sample and here's what I paid for like seriously seriously lush we're paying for this you give this to us for free like wow I don't know like I'm not sold on this 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 sliver of leaf soap you guys will have to let me know down in the comments how you feel about this um yeah I don't know I'm not my nose itches, I apologize. My allergies are driving me crazy. Um, I'm not sold on that leaf soap though. I mean, it smells great, but you know, just give me my hidden mountain soap. I don't need it in leaf form. The next two soaps are their naked liquid uh, hand soaps. Um, again, I was not really expecting this. Um, the first one is oregano, which looks like this. You can see it's shaped like, like it would be like a hand pump soap. Do you see that? But it's, you know, it's all naked, it's all soap, it's all completely usable. But it's flat. I wasn't expecting that. That's like, I feel like there should be product right there. And I guess I feel that way because, you know, they're naked. Shower gels and stuff are, you know, completely shaped like the bottles. And this is just like it's bloop, skimmed right off. Um, but yes, I think these are more or less made to be hand soaps, not necessarily um, for your body. I mean, you could use them on your body, I'm sure. Uh, but more or less to, you know, sit by your sink kind of thing. Um, so the oregano smells like oregano. It does have just that, you know... Um, you went into your spice cabinet, you got out some oregano to put on your pizza or something. That's what it smells like. Um, it's definitely a soap I'd probably keep at my kitchen sink. Not something that I want my body to smell like. Um, but, you know, I will, I will use that, um, in the kitchen. I think that's, like, the most appropriate place for it. Uh, but I was just kind of like, what? With, like, the... Just like it's just cut off, cut off the back. Last naked liquid soap is the oat soap. And again, it's shaped the same, made to look like a pump and, you know, completely flat on the back. Here we could make, we could make a whole one. No, that would be a little bit too big. But <laughs> um, 
The oat I heard is supposed to be the same scent as the Mrs. Whippy bath bomb. And unfortunately, I don't have a Mrs. Whippy to compare it to. I'm trying to think of what Mrs. Whippy smelled like when I did have one. And I feel like the scent is, it's recognizable. Like it could be Mrs. Whippy. But I feel like there's almost like a nuttiness in this. Like I swear I kind of smell an almond scent in there. Whereas I don't feel like Mrs. Whippy had much of an almond smell. I thought that one was just like really sweet. And this has a sweet smell, but like I said, I feel like it has like a nuttiness to it as well. But that's just my opinion. You know, everyone's nose is different, but I do really like the smell of this one. Like I could, I could see myself actually like using this as like, you know, a bar of soap in the shower. Um, not just for my hands, whereas oregano, like I don't want to smell like oregano. Um, but those are all of the new soaps that are currently available on um, the UK site uh, under the new Lush Labs. Um, so I'm really excited for um, the month of perfume. I think the next month I think is the makeup. Um, so I'll probably place, you know, an order for some of that as well. But I just wanted to, to try out these new soaps. And I am happy with some of them. Other ones, not so much. Um, so you guys will have to let me know down in the comments if you have, you know, gotten any of these, how you feel about them scent-wise, and all of that good stuff so we can kind of, like, compare, like, how we're feeling. Um, I could have sworn Lush, like, when they came out with this whole Lush Labs, like, it was supposed to be kind of, like, us being able to give our opinion on the products. And that's how they would decide if, you know, the product would actually come out in the shops and whatnot. But, like, where do you do that? Like, are they going to, like, put up a poll somewhere? Or I don't exactly know how we're supposed to, like, give our feedback. And it's like, do they really want our feedback? Because they haven't been listening to us at all any other time. <laughs> and But I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I didn't want this to be, like, a rant video or anything like that. But I will say, and I highly doubt Lush ever watches any of my videos. But, you know, okay, I'm excited for this whole Lush Labs thing. However, I feel like they could sell so much more if they would just, like, offer some like exclusive stuff that you know like retro things anything like that just a couple of stuff mixed in with this newer these newer products I think that they could sell so much more because you'd have the people wanting to buy you know a retro product and then they'd be like oh okay yeah I'm gonna while I'm here and ordering, I'm going to try one of these soaps too. Whereas you're bringing out all of these soaps. They're just soaps. We've just been bombarded with soaps. You know, a lot of people are just kind of like on soap overkill right now. So had they have brought out just some retro stuff mixed in, I feel like they could probably have sold a lot more soaps. I mean, they maybe maybe they are selling soaps out the yin yang right now, but I just feel they could probably sell so much more if they just bring out some retro products too. But that's just my opinion. Um, not like anyone would ever listen to me, you know. I don't own the business, but it's just my thoughts, and this is my channel, so I can express them. Um, but the last thing is, I do have a couple of samples. Um, I did request samples. I didn't request anything specific but they did send five samples so they were very generous and I'm just going to go over the samples that I received um this one was kind of leaky sometimes the liquid ones leak a little bit uh, but I did get a sample of the fairly traded honey shampoo which I do like I have used that before um this is the no drought dry shampoo. You can see the <laughs> the liquid shampoo kind of leaked on the top of that. I never tried that before, so I am anxious to try that. Um, I got a sample of the I Love Juicy 
shampoo. I've liked that one as well. Um, there's a sample of the Boom Toothy Tabs. And I'll open this because it shouldn't go all over me. Um, so you guys can see how many, um, if I can. So there are, there are seven toothy tabs in there. So that's awesome. That's, you know, seven toothy, toothy brushes in there. So, oh, it doesn't smell too great. I, flush toothy tabs, I've never been like a real big fan of them, but I will, I will try them. I will give them a try. Um, and then the last thing was the Salted Coconut Hand Scrub. I've used this before. It's nice. I'm just not the biggest fan of the scent. It smells a bit like coconut, but it also smells like plastic or something to me. I don't know. It's just, it's not something like, it's a good product, but, um, I felt like it dried out my hands. Like, I had to slather on hand cream after using it like it wasn't moisturizing obviously it just kind of exfoliated my hands um and I just wasn't a fan of the scent too much uh but that is everything um as far as this first Lush Labs haul goes um like I said some soaps I was a fan of like I am so digging this one here the Astro La Vista Mm, it smells so, so nice and looks really pretty. So, but yeah, you guys have to let me know, like I said, down below, um, your thoughts, your feelings on, on the soaps, on the Lush Labs, what you're looking forward to, what you're not. Um, yeah, just let me know down in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.